hi friends welcome to another sketch tutorial and in this video i am going to show you how to make unlock lock using rotation property like this as you can see now the time is 2 40 pm and it was the correct time as you can see now and the seconds this is the seconds arrow and this minutes and this is hours today we are going to make this using sketchware as you can see under the editor's choice um, it is there it is made by mr patrick kamban and he's a friend of mine and i asked him to demonstrate this example to youtube he said okay and uh, now i'll show you how to do that start with the new project and name it as a wish name it as unlock and uh, place the images uh, before we have to import all the images to search which were so migrate to image manager start adding images i'm going to take this here is it and lock lock here this is the top interface of the clock that's background image and this is the bottom bottom part of the clock and i'm going to import another images also this is used for seconds red red clock and this is for minutes and this is for hours and i need to add another image also i'll tell you what is the use of that image later okay that's it and yes now i'm going to place a linear vertical component to place the images vertically and i'm going to modify the properties of the um mm, what is say I'm going to want it as 420dp as you can see and layout with gravity to send the horizontal and top that's it and I'm going to import the images now this is for top face and this is for seconds this is for minutes and this is for hours this is for bottom out of the clock and I need to add another component also and now i'm going to modify the properties of it this is the top interface of the clock uh, let me make it 400 dp and it has 198 dp as you can see and we have gravity to center horizontal and bottom as this is the top part of the clock uh, i'm going to use center horizontal and bottom as this is the top part of the clock if it is the bottom part of the clock, I am going to use center horizontal and uh, top. Okay, as you can see, fit X Y, and I am going to choose the top part of the clock. As you can see, that's it. Okay, that's nice. And image two. This is for seconds. So I am going to use three eighty dp to it, and yeah. as seconds. Um, clock is uh, very thin now i'm going to use it as a 1 dp that's the height of the clock and uh, um layout gravity to send horizontal and uh, top i think so and uh, no 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 center horizontal center vertical i think that's it okay and uh, it x y default image is seconds clock that's it yes that's correct and this is for minutes clock so i'm going to use 3 dp to it but it's uh it's much larger than the seconds clock so use it and layout gravity to send horizontal and center vertical it x y and i'm to choose minutes now yes it's correct and i'm going to import the hours clock now 
HDP and UDP, UDP for it, and we will grab D2 send hole in center vertical, it acts Y, and the default image would be ours. Okay, that's it. Now I'm going to import the bottom part of the clock. Mm, so alter the properties of the top part of the clock 400 dp 198 dp but uh, only changes uh, about the gravity part uh, i'm going to use center horizontal top here that's that is the only difference remaining things are also same to look similar 400 dp and this is 198 dp why i'm using 198 dp means um, here i am going to use uh, the height of the linear vertical is 420 dp so i am going to assume this as 90 dp that's it uh, background color i am not going to change and this is the bottom part of the clock this is self it x y and default image would be bottom part of the clock as i previously told uh, there is also need of uh, another image view that is image view 6 this is the image view as you can see and i am going to make it as 8.4 dp and height would be 400 dp would be fine and fit x y clock ms that's it as you can see um, why i am using this because um, there is a difference of 5 dp difference because uh, the top part of the clock and uh, the height of the seconds clock is 1 dp Minutes clock is 2 dp and uh, what is this? Uh, hours clock is 2 dp. So there is a difference of 5 dp difference between the top part of the clock and bottom part of the clock. And uh, there is also a difference of uh, uh, what I mean to say is when seconds clock and uh, minutes clock are on the same dial, um, there is uh, some differences and some bugs are there. So I am going to use this um, image view. What this image view does is uh, I am going to, to show you um, move to the logic section but before going to the logic section we does not assign any properties to these image views so delete these properties to make it uh, simpler or to make it understandable easily it's very good habit uh, to delete the events which are not usable so I am going to use the rotation property now so go to the views component and as you can see now here it's a set rotation component uh, i'm going to select the image view 6 which is this one this one that is it is in, initially um, make a rotation of 270 degrees uh, to make it align properly so i'm going to use this property and i'm going to add two components uh, as you can see only there are four components here but if I add a timer component and a calendar component, I get access to more blocks as you can see now. And now I'm going to add a calendar component also. I'm going to name it as cal. And I'm going to take this time block. And for every one second, that is a thousand milliseconds, I have to take the time take the time for every second and uh, make a rotation of seconds hours uh, minutes clock to assign them properly according to the given time catch it right yes uh, now i am going to use the set rotation property where is it yes here set rotation property and uh, as you can see now i am going to explain the logic before you okay let me do something and after completing the logic i'll explain you stay tuned this is very important step as you can see now go to the calendar component and take the calendar format but the it is not assigned to this because it's a where a string component displays so i have to convert this string to the uh, number as you can see the rounded parts are numbers and uh, this is square rectangular parts are strings so i have to convert this string to the number so i'm going to the two number component and place it here and 
now place it here as you can see now the calendar component i'm going to illustrate the seconds for now and i'm going to multiply this with 6 and subtract difference of 90 degrees and place it here why i need to do it here like this because i'm going to explain you now yes as uh, second c is image u2 and uh, initially as you can see the seconds clock is here and uh, it is under 15 second tab uh, actually it's under 15 seconds tab that is uh, 15 seconds if it has to move another 15 seconds that is like here that is under 6 clock it has to make a degrees of it has to make an angle of 90 degrees so to travel 15 degrees it has to make a uh, angle of 90 degrees so uh, as this 15 seconds tab i'm going to multiply this 15 to make a difference of 90 so i'm going to multiply this with 6 and subtract a difference of 90 to make it properly aligned and uh, this is the same for even minutes but uh, this is different for what i mean to say because uh, 60 seconds is equal to one minute and uh, 60 minutes is equal to one hour but 60 hours is not equal to one day so 24 hours is equal to one day so the difference uh, there is a slight difference uh, for the hours clock so and i am going to change this format also because it's under seconds i have to go to the minutes so it's minutes okay now i am going to use the uh, now i am going to set the logic for hours so go to the view component and set rotation tab it is for image view 4 as you can see and go to the operate operator section and take two number variable and calendar difference component format i'm going to copy this yes here it is again as you can see i'm going to take hours if you want hours uh, then you place hh seconds for ss mm for minutes and i'm going to use minutes also because uh, the hours clock also depends upon the orientation of the minutes clock because uh, for, uh, for an orientation of 60 minutes clock uh, it has to move a difference of uh, 5 uh, what i mean to say if it if it makes an angle of 360 degrees the hours clock makes only uh, what 30 degrees only so i have to make an uh, uh, property like that so what i going what i'm going to say is as you can see i'm going to multiply this hours clock into 30 because um for 60 degree rotation of the minutes clock it makes an angle of 30 degrees that is uh, difference between one hour and another hour is 30 minutes um and i'm going to take another variable into 30 as you can see and uh, i'm taking this variable and it's you can also place uh, this directly but uh, there are some works uh, it's not working properly so i'm going to use this now i'm going to add these both angles and 
and subtract the entry difference where is it operator minus minus 90 here and place this bar and paste it for here that's it the logic is complete and now I'm going to run this if there are bugs then we are going to rectify it I think it's working fine I'm going to install it and uh, open the app as you can see now the time is 256 and it's showing correct time it's under uh, slightly under 2 and uh, the time of clock is almost 56 and it's making correct time that's it for today guys please like and watch for more videos don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button thank you